Right you guys, today we're taking a look at PC fixes you can do yourself. Now first off, if your PC has got an issue like a blue screen of death or something along those lines and you want to learn to troubleshoot it properly, I'm going to show you some steps you can take to try and find out what is going on with your PC. First open up the search box and type Event Viewer. Now most people don't go into Event Viewer but this can be very useful or getting information of what's just been happening to your PC, maybe a blue screen or a crash. So go to actions and then create a custom view. Once you've done that, this will open up another box where we can now put in some filters. You can see here logged anytime, and we can see here there's a drop down last hour, last 12 hours, and you can put in whatever you like here if you want to try to troubleshoot a problem that's just crashed or find out what is causing it. So we'll put any time in here, but you can put whatever you like in there. Now we can set up a event level. So we need to look here whether we want to do critical warning or error or whatever it is you're looking for. We're looking for an error here because obviously of the crash that we just had. But if it was critical, you could also put in there critical. But we're going to go for error here. And now we're going to open up this little box here and it will say Windows Logs. And you can see Application, Security, Setup, System. You can put in whatever you like. I'm going to leave all of those checkmarked. From there, we can now leave it by Log. And we can also move on down to the next section, which is just down below. And we can leave all of this uh, default. But there is some stuff in here, but we're going to leave this as is because we don't need to touch any of this stuff. But you can see there is a bunch of stuff in there for other. Uh, videos that I can make on this topic if you're interested. So once we've done this, we can click on OK here. And now we've got all of our stuff set. We need to save this filter and we can give it a name. So let's just call it Blue Screen of Death or something like that. OK. And uh, we can now give it a description as well if we want to, something more recognizable. So just put in a description here and you can call this Blue Screen of Death if you want to. Write it out just like so. But you can leave this blank if you want to, but. Let's just do it properly and we can click OK once this is done. So once we're done here, click OK. And now that has been created for us, you can see it's brought up all of the error codes in our system. So these are the error codes that have been happening to this computer. And we can now start to break down and troubleshoot what has actually been going on with our PC. You can see the source here is telling us that the application hung. And we can see here a date and time when it happened and we've got the level which is error because we set it up as error. So you can see how easy it is now to break this down and find exactly what time your problem happened. You should be writing that down and then going straight into Event Viewer and finding it so you can get some information on what actually caused that error. It may be an application hung during the uh, uninstallation process. It could be during the installation process. It could be during a Windows update and you can see it gives us the date and time. And it also says installation failure, Windows uh, failed to install the following update with the error number right there. This gives you useful information so you can then do a search or use this information to troubleshoot the problem that you're having. So this is really good information that you are missing out if you're not using this built in feature of Windows. This is all good information for you to start breaking down and troubleshooting the actual issue that is happening with your computer, whether it be a driver update, maybe a failed driver, whatever it is that's happening to your system, it will all be logged right here. You can see this is for Windows 11 version 22 H2, and it gives you the uh, actual update there, KB5022303. Uh, and now we know that's the culprit. We could go ahead and probably uninstall this and remove it from the computer if it was a failed update or maybe it's gone in and it's causing an issue, whatever it may be. You could take snapshots and you can also save this information and post it on some sort of Discord server where you can get help or maybe look onto some sort of forum where you could post this information and tell the person, this is what's happening to my computer. And hopefully someone will be able to help you. Now, another useful bit of information that is stored on your PC when you get blue screens is the dump section where the blue screen dump files will be stored. These are stored in your C drive, Windows, and then you come down to where it will say mini dump. And they've always been installed in this location. And this can be very useful for giving you useful information about what has actually occurred 
at that time with your computer. These will all be stored inside this location. So if this problem is a continual issue where you're getting, say, a blue screen of death and it's related to a graphics driver or something like that, you can now investigate using programs like Who Crashed. This is a free program you can download and install on your PC, or you can use something like Blue Screen View, which will also give you useful information about the crash that's just happened to your system. You can also use more advanced level stuff like the WinDBG. This is a very advanced bit of software and it takes a bit more uh, getting used to using this software, but this software will give you some useful information about the actual crash dump itself and it will break it down in more detail. So you can see here, I'm just going to use who crashed here for people at home who want to be able to try to see what the crash was because sometimes it just restarts straight away because they haven't got it set up correctly. But we're just going to quickly install this and we'll open up this dump file here and it will tell us exactly what it is. Now, it doesn't always give you loads of information. It might just be very vague and it makes it very difficult to troubleshoot. But once it's analyzed this, it's going to put it into some sort of text format in the actual program itself. You can come down here and you'll see it will give us some system information about the computer, like the processor and RAM, CPU, other hardware information, version of Windows that you're running. And down a bit further, it will give you the crash dump analysis. And you can see here where it's pulled the file, it will tell you on the day and the date and time. And it will also tell us what the bug check name was. And it will say driver IRQL, no less or equal. And you can now see the actual bug check code, which is the bug check code there. Give you a little bit of a conclusion here. But really, that gives you some information that you can now use to post on forums or Discord tech support sites like ours. Or you can even take a screenshot and you can also do some searching on Google if you wanted to, to see whether you can work out what has caused this. Now, we know it's a driver related issue because it says driver IRQ. And maybe you was just installing a graphics driver at the time and then you got this error code. So now, you know, it was related to that driver that you've just uh, installed on your computer. And it gives you that information and you can use that to troubleshoot and try to fix the problem yourself. Now I've seen people with tons of blue screen dump files in here. We've all related to the same issue and people just ignore them, but they're there to help you try to fix and troubleshoot the problem that you may be having. Another area is view reliability history. And you can see right here, this will open up a timeline of events that have been happening on your computer. This can help you troubleshoot and diagnose issues with your computer. You can check the date and time and cross-reference that with the reliability monitor here. And you can go back in time and check to see exactly what it is. And it will tell you basically what the issue was. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these and I'll give you an idea of how this works. It's pretty straightforward. And uh, this will just give you some information. So you can click on these events and you can see it will give you some information down below and you can view the technical details of these events as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at these in more detail here. You can see it's given me some information about some of these things that have been going on, but we're not interested about every single event. We're just interested in the event that's been happening at that particular time and date. And that's the most important thing. You can check by day and weeks, but really you should be dealing with these issues straight away. You can see it's broken down into critical events, warnings, and informational events. We can go down to view all of the problems here. And now we can see there's a breakdown with dates and times. And we can now go to that location and find the actual date and time that that event happened. And we can try to find out what caused it in more detail. And you can click on them and it will then generally tell you uh, some information. You can see it sent a report back on this time. And when you click on it here, it will give you some information about the event. You can see that this was related to the store agent scan for updates failure. So it failed uh, to do with the updates. So you can see that's exactly where the issue was. And it was an update issue and it will give you some information there. So it gives you an idea of what's going on with your PC. 
You can see there's one here for Corsair IQ installation. It stopped responding, and that was an issue there. And I knew that happened when I was uh, installing it, and it just hung. Basically, the app hung, and uh, it crashed. And I had to restart the whole thing again. But it gives us all this information right here. And all this information is used for helping you to troubleshoot and diagnose issues. And once you've got this information, you can then try to implement some fixes to try and remedy the issue that you're having. And to do that, it might be a simple case of just running a check on your operating system. If it's Windows updates causing an issue, you can go in here and check with SFC space forward slash scan now in command prompt and run a check to make sure it will do a file integrity check of all of your system files to see if there's an issue there. And you can also then start doing some other things on your computer to fix some of these issues that you might be having. So it might not be the case that SFC scan now is the fix that you're trying to do. It may be something else that you've done that you might need to try to uh, do to try and fix and resolve the issue. You're just gaining information on the issue so you know exactly how to tackle that problem. It's just one step of diagnosing and troubleshooting that you can use to try and find out what is going on with your PC. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a lovely Sunday. Bye for now.